Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. I hope everybody had a happy holiday. Today I want to make a short video on deleting browsing history in your web browser. When you exit the browser, have it do that automatically. Um, I'm going to go across all five top browsers. That would include Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Brave, and the Opera web browser. Uh, I'll do Chrome first because I pretty sure that's the most popular browser out there. Uh, lately I've <laughs> surfing the internet and watching videos on YouTube and do a lot of Google searches on clearing browsing history, download history, save passwords, form data, that kind of stuff. Having that stuff being deleted automatically when you close your Chrome web browser, I've been seeing some misleading directions on that. So <clears throat> I want to set the record straight. What I'm going to do is open up my Chrome web browser now, many versions ago in Chrome, yes, there was a setting in Chrome that you could simply enable that would delete all your browsing history automatically every time you exited. That feature is long gone. They don't, Chrome doesn't have that anymore. So what I'm going to do to show you is I'm going to go up here to my settings, my hamburger menu in the right-hand corner, click it, I'm going to go to my history, and you can see I got a bunch of history in there. So then I'm going to go back to my menu, I'm going to choose settings, and over on the left, I'm going to go to Privacy and Security. And right here at the top, where it says Clear Browsing Data, we click that. You've probably seen this before, where you can manually go in and clear all your browsing history, form data, download history, etc. you got your basic, you got your advanced. You can select the time period, go all the way back forever to clear your history. But you have to do it manually. It won't delete automatically. Now, what I've been seeing a lot on the Internet and on, even on YouTube, guys making videos saying in Chrome, all you got to do is go to where, right here where it says cookies and other site data. We'll click that. And if we scroll down just a little bit, right here it says clear cookies and site data when you quit Chrome. You can see I have that enabled. By default, it's always disabled like that. But if you turn it on, this will not delete your history and your download history and your saved passwords. It does just what it says it's going to do. It'll clear your cookies and site data which is no big deal. In fact, some cookies you kind of need to go to some websites or they won't work properly. So, um, I'll leave that enabled. I'll exit Chrome. I'm going to open it back up real quick. Go back to my menu. I'm going to go to my history. And you can see all my history is still there. So, there is a little workaround for this. If we go into extensions, just go into the Chrome Web Store pretty simple to get to. Uh, you can search a store for an extension. It is called Clean Guru. Just type in clean. Let's do one more. Guru. And it's the first one. Now there's several extensions that you can add to Chrome that supposedly do this. I tried like four of them. This one right here, the Clean Guru. I'll click it. I'm going to add it to my Chrome. Just an extension. Verify, yes, I want to add it. And it seems to do a pretty good job of automatic history clearing every time you exit Chrome. So, now if you turn on sync here, this will also go across all your devices. If you, you know, signed into your Google account, it will affect them as well. So, keep that in mind. I'm not going to turn on sync. So, it, right up here, it got added. It's this little icon right here. If we click it, you can see it's right here. If we just click it again. You can instantaneously choose what you want to clear real quick. For the last hour, you got the same time period you can choose if you're doing this through Chrome itself. But if we go up here to settings and click on this gear, uh, data to remove. You can choose whatever you want in this list. Pretty straightforward. Downloads, of course, passwords. And, of course, the time period. At the very bottom, it says automatic data remove. I have it turned off. But if we check this box right here, clear when Chrome starts, every time you start Chrome, boom, it's going to wipe out all that history that you chose up here at the top where it says data re to remove. So I'm going to close out Chrome now that I got the extension installed and I have it enabled. So now I'll open Chrome again. Go back here to my hamburger menu. I'll go to history and I'll go to my history. Boom, you see all my history is gone. So, um, 
that's the only way right now that you can do this in Chrome. Why they took it out several versions ago, I can't really say, but that's just the way it is. Now, another thing people will tell you, or that I'm sure you're aware of, if you go up here and click on your menu, right here, which says New Incognito Window, if you choose that, now you can surf the internet incognito. All these things here, browsing history, cookies and site data, etc., none of this stuff will be retained in your Chrome web browser. Um, but even this isn't foolproof. Keep in mind that your ISP is still going to know everything you've done on the internet, what websites you visited, what links you clicked on. It's not completely foolproof. Generally speaking, yes, it works. Technically speaking, it doesn't work. There's a simple command I can type in at the command prompt or I can pull up all your incognito browsing history in about five seconds. So keep that in mind. That's for another video. Anyway, I don't want to get lost in the weeds on this. So that's Chrome. Install that extension. It does seem to work pretty good. Um, I'm going to move on to Microsoft Edge, assuming you have the newest versions of these browsers. Now, Edge did a really good job on this. We can go up here to the menu in the upper right corner, click it. We'll go all the way down to settings right here at the bottom. Click that. And over on the left, we're going to click on privacy, search, and services. And the first page here, if we scroll down right here, where it says clear browsing data, if you click on this box right here, it simply brings up this where you can manually choose what to delete. And, and again, you got the different time periods. Cancel that. But right below it here, it says clear, choose what to clear every time you close a browser. So we'll click that. And right here, you can go in and turn whatever you want on. Every time you exit Edge, you can have all these things erased, say passwords, cookies, etc. And always keep in mind, too, when you're using any of these browsers, when you're logging into something for the first time, your browser is going to ask you if you want to save the password. You can always opt out of that so your passwords aren't saved in there. But all your other stuff will still be saved, like history and cookies and cached images, etc. So that's all you got to do on Edge to... Have all that stuff deleted every time you exit. Um, I'll move on to Firefox real quick. I'm going to open up Firefox and we'll go. No, I don't want to need my default. I'm going to go over here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click on the menu. I'll go down to options right here. We'll choose that. And over on the left, I'll click on privacy and security. And if we scroll down just a little bit. Okay, right here where it says cookies and site data, by default, this box is checked. When you install Firefox, again, deleting cookies and site data is not your browsing history, your download history, your form data, and your saved passwords. Um, right here under logins and password, you can have it ask you every time by default. Um, same with autofill. But if we go down a little bit further, right here where it says history, the default setting is right here where it says remember history that is going to be your default setting but again if I click on clear history you're going to get this familiar box you can choose what to clear manually so uh, I'm going to go up here where it says remember history I'm going to choose a different option um, you got this one never remember history at all or use custom settings for history let's choose that then right here if you check this box clear history when Firefox closes check it Go to settings, and here you can choose what to, what to delete every time you close your browser, including download history and browsing history and form history. So that's how you do it in Firefox. And they also give, the, give you the option to remember, or not to remember, browsing history and download history, search and form history, you know, individually. So Firefox or Mozilla did a pretty good job on that. So moving on to the next web browser, Brave. A lot of my customers have been using this lately. I've been seeing them when they come in the store. It's a pretty cool browser, pretty simple to use. It's built off the Mozilla platform, so to speak. I'm going to go up here to the menu, sorry. Go, let's go up to the menu, click on the hamburger menu. We'll go down to settings. And this one they made pretty simple. Uh, right at the top here you got history. We'll click that. And here's some history. Over on the left, we're going to click on clear browsing data. <clears throat> and this is what Chrome used to have a long time ago. This nice little option here. Of course, you got the basic where you can man manually clear data. you got the advanced, same thing. But over here, you got on exit. 
So on exit, you can have it delete your browsing history, download history, got your password, your auto form data, etc. So the Brave browser did a pretty good job on that. And last but not least, we're going to open up Opera. I personally don't use Opera. I don't care for it, but a lot of people use it. <clears throat> this is the landing page. Now, under Opera, there is no automatic function, just like in Chrome, to have it delete all your browsing history when you exit. You're going to need an extension. And just like Chrome, you can go and get an extension. But if we go up here in the upper left corner and click on the Opera logo here, we can go to Settings. And if we scroll down a little bit under privacy and security, right here it says clear browsing data. If we click it, again, you get these options, just like in Chrome, to manually delete that stuff. But here where it says cookies and other site data, if you click on that, right here's an option. Clear cookies and site data when you quit Opera. By default, it's turned off. But that will not clear your browsing history, download history, and passwords. So if we go over here to the Opera menu again, and we go into Extensions, we hit Get Extensions, it's going to take us in to the Extension Store, or Opera Add-ons. Search for an extension that's called Close and Clean. And it should pop right up. Here it is, Close and Clean. Now there's several of them in here, but I played around with this one a little bit. It seems to do the job pretty well if you're using Opera so you might want to check out this extension where you can have a little more control over what's being deleted and when it's being deleted. Uh, it's got a 4.1 out of 5 stars. guess that's not too bad. So if you're using Opera that'd be a good one to use. So that was a quick little tutorial on clearing your web browsing history with all the different web browsers. Um, I hope you all found that useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.